guys i just wanted to show you how i formulated my first shampoo by using soapcalc.net now soapcalc is a calculator that calculates for you the amount of products or ingredients that you're going to need if you just type it into google it should show up the first two results are the most important the first one is the actual calculator the second one is the home page and i would recommend checking out the home page because it's chock full of information for example if you don't know what you're doing there's a great getting started guide there's all this help for beginners different ways to make soap and of course book references we're going to be using that like calculator at the top but there's also other information about the calculator Later, like the oils the qualities of the soap and whatnot my favorite part is the FAQs the equipment and the soap making videos any question you can have is probably on the FAQs now the equipment needed is a great uh, reference guide for everything that you're going to need to help you be prepared for the soap making uh, process so that's a good place to check and my favorite favorite part is the soap making videos because they give you ideas not only on the different techniques of soap making but also ideas on different combinations of oils different designs and different creative things that you can do with your uh, soap. So moving on to the calculator itself, there's a guide there for beginners. It's a quick guide showing you how to navigate through the sections of the calculator, but there's also detailed instructions if you should choose. Then we have the form fields. We fill the minty green parts. The software fills out the uh, gives us the information in the white sections. And of course, there's updates and bug fixes and whatnot. All of that will be there. So the first part is divided into seven sections. So the first part is the type of lye. I will be using sodium hydroxide. It's pre-selected, so I'm just going to leave it that way. Of course, you have the two other options of the different kinds of lyes that you can use to make soap. The weight of the oils is how much oil you want to use in total. Now, this is going to depend on how much soap you want to make. The higher that number, the more soap. Water as a percentage of oils is not is very technical so i'm not going to be changing that and of course you have the super fat there at five percent and the fragrance at 0 0.5 now number five is the most probably the most critical section if you ask me of this uh software and it basically tells us the different properties that our soap will have for example where it says one is for a single uh, oil and where it says all is if you add multiple oils on the right where it says recipe oil list so clicking on aloe butter there you can see how bubbly it's going to be how creamy it's going to be in comparison to something like avocado oil no cleansing abilities whatsoever so i wouldn't use avocado oil by itself for a soap that i intended to be cleansing maybe for like a baby soap or something like that on the bottom there it tells you what kind of fatty acids are in your oil so again you click on an oil it gives you the list of fatty acids so you can decide if that's important to you and again those values will change based on which oil you select so this is important because it tells us what qualities our soap will have now because i want my soap to be cleansing i don't want to sacrifice conditioning or creamy as well so so it's going to help me determine which oils to use. Now, I was just curious who would use chicken fat to make a soap and where would you even buy it? But as you can see, it holds its own. Anyway, I have an idea of what the soap will look like. So I'm going to start adding my oils and then I will use the percentage section to add what percentage of that oil I want in the soap. Then when I'm done, I'm going to calculate the recipe and hopefully if I'm happy with it, I'm going to view and print the recipe and I can file it away for use later on. So because I know which oils I want, uh, I, I'm going to use, I have an idea. I'm going to start adding them in, but I'm going to go back there to the soap qualities and adjust them until I'm happy with the formulation. So the first one on my list is, of course, castor oil. Uh, not very much of a cleansing oil, but it's very creamy and it's got a lot of conditioning in it. So I am going to add 10% of castor oil. Now, I tweaked this much later on, but this is what I started with. So 10% of castor oil. And I'm going to go and find uh, my avocado oil, which is my favorite favorite oil very conditioning again not much of a cleansing oil so again this formulation still needs a lot of tweaking so i'm going to add avocado oil in there and this is the way you keep going there are no limitations to the amount of oil you can add you can go as many as you like or and you can use one if you like it will still result into soap so it's just a question of tweaking it as, as much as you like now i'm using coconut 76 degrees this is the regular coconut oil at room temperature if you have an two degrees it's the hydrogenated kind nothing wrong with that and of course there's a fractionated which is liquid 
Coconut oil is a great cleanser, so adding that is going to push the number up for the cleansing part. Next, I'm going to add macadamia nut, also a great conditioning oil. It's not so much great in the cleansing part, but I have it and I wanted to use it, so I'm going to add a little bit of that at 10%. Then I am going to add olive oil, which is also a great conditioning oil with some cleansing abilities. So we add that in there. Actually, it has no cleansing abilities now that I look at it. Um, so we're going to add that in there, but it's very creamy. So I'm going to add that in there. And finally, I am going to add shea butter. Now, you don't have to follow this recipe. You can obviously come up with your own recipe based on what you have. But this is just to give you an idea of how I worked it. Now, initially, I thought this would be the numbers, but I had to tweak them because it it was I wasn't happy with the qualities of the soap so I'm gonna add shea butter here as my final oil and calculate that so I'm gonna add about 25% shea butter and then calculate the recipe so as you can see once I calculated it was over and I did that intentionally just to show you what happens when you do that so when you click calculate recipe and it's over it tells you there that I'm over by 5% so you have to go and adjust something so no big deal it tells you you are at 105 it needs to be at 100 in order for the software to function so you go back in and reduce one of the oils whichever one you choose and then it's going to give you a value of 100 then you can calculate the recipe and on the far right it shows me number one which is what i had decided i wanted it to be one pound of oils and that's exactly what the weight would be which is what i filled up out there the weight of oils but it also gives me the numbers that's the same one there but at the top there it gives me the weight of the oil for each one that I am going to need so you could print this recipe and just go ahead and use it that way however I wasn't happy with it because when I moved back um, you could print uh, but when I moved back to the left to view the soap qualities I wasn't totally happy with it so I decided to make a few adjustments and after those adjustments I was happy with it as you can see there it's not as conditioning as I would like it to be now when you hover on those uh, on those words it tells you where you want it to be for example cleansing you want it to be between 12 and 22 percent you can see mine is 17 which is good conditioning you want it to be between 44 and 69 so mine is at 55 which is not so bad uh, and bubbly is between 14 and 46 mine is at 26 Eh. and then this one is between 16 and 48 mine is 31 so i needed to make a few uh adjustments to it which i did now we're gonna i'm gonna go over to the end and start tweaking the oils and then i'll show you what that looks like in a second now tweaking the recipe to get the soap qualities you want this is the most fun because you can start over you can add more oils you can change the numbers of some to high and low there's really no one way to do this but every time you do it you have to hit calculate the recipe so it adjusts the numbers so you're able to compare the soap qualities that you're getting so I changed mine enough to where I think this is as close as I'm gonna get especially with these oils of course keep in mind you can add other oils if you like if there's something you really really wanted and these oils don't provide you can always add that so I'm ready to print but first I'm gonna check to make sure I have my lye and also my ratio of saturated and unsaturated fats and I'm gonna hit view or print recipe now this opens a new window where the information is much better organized the first thing you want to do is name it because if you create an amazing bar of soap and then you lose the recipe that would be a shame so name it the first part is information that you didn't fill out except the one pound of the oils and the super fatting is at five percent the second part shows you the ingredients you have your water your lye your oils and your fragrance and everything is given in in weight of pounds ounces or grams so it doesn't matter where you're from you'll be able to weigh that out now here we see all the oils that i chose and the fats so you see them as a percentage there so if there's an error you can go back and fix it and then that percentage translates to weight in pounds ounces and grams as well now this part is the most important part because it tells us what the quality of the soap bar will be now for soap makers who are novices like you and i if you're watching and you're a novice that range is where we want to be and as long as you're within that range you are fine on the far right it gives us the uh, fatty acids that are inside of our soap so I'm quite happy with this um, it's as close as I'm gonna get with my soap uh, with my recipe so all that remains is for me to add the additives that I'm gonna be adding as well as some notes that will be like reminders for this recipe and when I'm done I'm just gonna click print and I'm ready to make soap so thanks for watching guys and additional info will be on my blog link 
linked below. I will talk to you on the next video. Bye!